Personal story segment tonight, Congressman Ron Paul recently told Megyn Kelly he's being ignored by the media. Since Ms. Kelly is part of the media, that was a pretty interesting statement. When we heard it, though, we immediately invited Ron Paul on the fact that we don't want anybody to be ignored. So far, he has not accepted our very kind invitation. Gallup released a poll today. That's very good news for Governor Rick Perry. He leads the Republican field with 29 percent among those Americans likely to vote Republican. Mitt Romney second 17. Mr. Paul third 13. Michelle Bachman, who has lost some steam, she is now at 10 percent. You know how to analyze a purveyor of DickMorris.com, Mr. Morris. All right, let's take this poll first. It's not a surprise that, that Rick Perry would break on top in a Rasmussen poll because he hasn't been vetted. They haven't seen him in a, in a debate form. He hasn't done any interviews at all. None. Right. Zero. Right. Um, it, but it looks like that's pretty darn smart <laughs> because he's now, you know, got this commanding lead in the Rasmussen poll. Well, it's not commanding. It's, it's a lead. What is, that? what is it? Well, it's not a question of the stats. It's, it's just that. It's the very beginning. It's just his. But that's it's impressive. The, it's give the, him man his due. It's the aroma of Rick Perry. It's not the substance yet. It, but give him his due. To break on top that quickly, yeah. that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? Well, yeah, and you have Rasmussen and Gallup both saying it, uh, which is impressive. Um, I think we have a ways to go on that. And oh, we'll absolutely. See how he plays. There's no doubt about it. Uh, the, the problem Rick Perry has is that. He's got to win Iowa against Bachman, which is a tall order, or New Hampshire against Romney, which is a tall order. He's not going to win New Hampshire. Or just win South Carolina, at which point he, can t he becomes ghettoized as a regional candidate. Well, I don't know about that. Because, look, Iowa is a small conservative caucus, right? You would agree. And everyone understands that. New Hampshire is a very, very small state. And so is South Carolina. So I say if Perry wins one of those three, then you still have what you have now, a three-person race. Yeah, Wouldn't you agree that it's a three-person race right now? Well, yes, but also not permanently. First of all, you may have Palin in, you may have Christie in. And secondly, you cannot entirely count out uh, 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 Kane. Oh, come or, on, I know stop. You'll, I know you'll hate stop that. Stop with this stuff. You, you can't, you can't, you can't count, count out. Oh, come on. You can't count out Kane or Santorum or any of those bottom candidates. You want to, all right, look, I need to make some money. No, 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 I'm not right, betting okay, on it. Okay, there we go, I'm ladies just and gentlemen. You can't money count where out. his mouth is. No, oh, no, no, no. I'll give you 10 to 1 odds on Kane. 10 to 1. Yeah. All right. Ron Paul, he's whining to Megan. me. And then we invite him on as he show up. Well, he won't face you because he doesn't want to face questioning. Uh, he wants to give a speech, right? He's fine when he gives a speech. Right. But then you probe him and you say, are you saying that Iran will not develop the bomb and that if they do, they're not going to use it against Israel? And if they do, it's OK with you? Uh, then you say the gold standard. Are you literally saying that the United States of America's economy should only be allowed to grow as much as the gold can be extracted from the earth? And if there's no gold discovered, our economy has to stay small. You ask him about drug lords. Are you seriously saying that we should not be fighting drugs in the United States, but should legalize it all? No, he would say yes to the. He would say yes to all three of those. No, I don't think he would say yes on the on the gold standard because that's impossible. So if he did that, then no, no, he's for the gold that. standard. But he's, but it's not as clear cut as that. He just wants it to back up the currency, uh, yeah, not but to you be can't a, print that, more currency and less more gold is mined, and ultimately it means your whole economic expansion is hostage to how much a South African gold mine produces. All right, um, look, that's why when when from off, the very beginning, and we would had uh, Ron Paul on this program, I have said to Mr. Paul's face that some of his positions are insane that you can't be an isolated nation the way he wants to be, that bad guys will come and get us if, unless we get them first. Right. We all know this, except Ron Paul doesn't. But there is a strain of people there who love him, and, and that's what shows up in the 13 or 40 percent that, well, he, that he gets. Those people that love him better love Obama, because if he ever gets the nomination, they can have him would for win. four more right. years. Against all but Perry, um, I believe that Mitt Romney 
is much. See, this poll is a little deceiving on the Romney front because Romney's strength is not with the traditional Republican Party. Right. It's with independent Americans. Right. You have to look at any of these polls to see how many independents they're putting in the sample. If it's just Republicans, it's one result. If they're putting in independents, it's another. Right, right. And that, that, I, that people have to understand when you but, see a poll, you've got to be very skeptical about the poll because certain constituencies, conservative Republicans are not big Mitt Romney supporters. Right. But once you get over into the independent, Ranks. Right. And there, that is a very, very right. big constituency now. And remember, that he does that much with, better. with no Democratic primary, most of these states permit independents to vote in either. Yes. So nobody's going to be absorbed into the Democratic primary. No, they're they're all going to come into the Republican primary. primary. So, the, so those are the polls you have to And, and that's our that job here to define it for. Yeah, Romney ahead, wrap it up. defeats uh, Obama by 10 points in Florida in the most recent poll, the Magellan poll. And uh, th that is just an astonishing, astonishing lead. I think it's fair to say right now that Romney or Perry would defeat Obama. Bachman would have a tougher time, but could. And uh, you don't know about Christie. So you, you're giving me Herman Cain, then? You're giving me Herman Cain, sorry. Are you giving I, me that? No, right now, Herman Cain would not defeat okay. Obama. Okay. <laughs> Herman's and we got like some, Herman Cain. This isn't a slam he, at these a, men. He's a good guy, he's but you know what he has to do? He has to learn to take his charisma from the stump and bring it into a debate. And so far, he hasn't been able right. to do that. His debate performance is a milk toast. On the stump, he's fantastic. Dick Morris, everybody. Check out Dick Morris.